Hey, Northern Chris here for another video. This is five common mistakes that people make. Uh, in this video, it's five mistakes that I made cutting down this birch tree. So the first mistake people make, as you can see in this video, no protective gear. I'm wearing sunglasses, not safety glasses, no gloves, no chaps, no helmet, no earmuffs, nothing. So very dangerous when you're cutting a tree down. Now this is a smaller tree, but highly recommend wearing the proper protective gear. Number two is using the saw incorrectly. As you can see, I'm going back and forth, almost like I'm trying to cut a loaf of bread. That's not the proper way to use the chainsaw. You want the chainsaw to do all the work. So again, big mistake that people make, especially newbies, using the tools incorrectly. So hold the chainsaw still and plunge it into the tree. Make the chainsaw do all the work. The third thing people do wrong is looking at which way the tree is actually going to fall. So as you can see here in slow-mo, the tree actually is leaning backwards. These are called a leaner. And as you can see here, I look very confused because now the chainsaw is stuck in the tree. I put the bird mouth on the opposite side thinking the tree would fall, not realizing I didn't look all the way up to the top of the tree to see which way the tree is leaning. So a big mistake, not looking at which way the tree will fall. It's very important, especially if there's anything close by that the tree could fall on. Now, I look like an idiot. The chainsaw is stuck in the tree. The tree's gonna fall in the wrong direction. And now what do I have to do? I'm trying to push it. As you can see, I didn't cut far enough into the tree. So now it leads to another problem. So then this leads to number four of the most common mistakes. It's gonna be not having the proper tools on hand. So highly recommend having a second chainsaw, an ax, something. As you can see here, I forgot the large ax at home, which was two hours away. I had a hatchet. So now, I have to use the hatchet to free the chainsaw. I didn't want to leave the chainsaw there over the weekend. So again, proper tools for the job. This could go very badly very quickly. Cutting down trees is not something you take lightly. Again, I'm trying anything I can just to knock this tree over. So now I try hatcheting the tree from the other side, trying to open up that bird mouth so it falls in the wrong direction, but at least it falls and it frees my tool. So again, it's very important to make sure you have a second chainsaw on hand. I have two other chainsaws at home. Again, nowhere near this property. So that electric chainsaw is all I had. Here I'm trying to tap the chainsaw at free, which will just dull the blade. So not a good situation. And as you can see, I spent a bit, a bit of time chopping this tree. Now it starts to slowly fall. So this leads to the fifth and final mistake that most people do. Stay away from the tree when it's falling. Don't know if you saw that, but as the tree fell, it kicked the bottom up towards my face. And here it is, the aftermath. The tree fell in the wrong direction. Didn't do any harm. 
But those are the five most common mistakes that people do when they're new to cutting down trees. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Northern Chris here. And here's just a quick video of me after I cut that one tree down, of me chopping down another tree.